Welcome, folks, one and all, to Let's Play Shadow of the Wool Ball, released in 2016 as a total conversion mod for Doom 2, developed by Watch the Toast, aka MS Paint Rocks. What is this game? It's a cutesy look back at the playstyle of Wolfenstein 3D, where you, a hedgehog, are up against alien cats that have invaded your world. Don't believe me? I'm going to read you the plot right now. Oh crud! An evil curtain scratching and hairball vomiting force from outer space has arrived on your peaceful home planet. They captured you and all your friends, built ugly factories everywhere, and littered the landscapes with cat hair and poop. On top of that, they took that one girl you just got together with onto one of their ships, which is heading towards outer space. Do you have the balls of wool to pack your guns, escape from your prison, and go on a journey through space to free your world from this abomination? Well, do you? Let's find out, shall we, as we go to the main menu. All of the art in this game, as far as I know, was made in MS Paint, which makes everything about this game even more awesome. This isn't a game that I'm going completely blind into, as I have played a fair bit of this game myself. But will I remember everything that I saw before? Who can say? As we go to fight the shadow of the wool ball. Why a wool ball? That will become clear in time. New game. There are three episodes, Bunker Brawl, Cats in Space, and Balls of Wool. Let's select Bunker Brawl, shall we? And select hard as our difficulty. Let's see what this game can throw at us, eh? As we go in to the first level. Immediately, you will see some similarities with Wolfenstein 3D and Doom, as we have our hedgehog protagonist looking left and right. The similarities with Wolfenstein 3D will come about with the aesthetic of the levels and the number of weapons that we have, as we really don't have many. We have this pistol, and we have a melee attack. At the moment, that's it. We're going to get more things as time goes on, but not too many more things. We can also consult the map whenever we like, and see that there are 16 monsters left to defeat and two secrets left to find, and this is E1M1 Bunker Catnip. Let's move forward and see if we can find any foes. Controls are exactly the same as many other games of this type. You can move around with the direction keys or whilst if you like, you can use Alt to strafe left and right, and you can use Control to shoot. Spacebar is going to be used to open things and manipulate things. We can also punch this plant! And sometimes plants will give you healing items in the form of fruit. Let's look around and see if we can find any enemies at all, as there'll be quite a few evil space cats trying to stop us. And there's a picture of an evil space cat. How evil that cat looks. We'll see if there's any fruit around. There's some food there. It's not going to heal us right now because we have 100% health, but keep it- Oh, there is one of the uh, grunts that's going to try and get us. They're on with a pistol, and one good shot will kill the evil space cat. There'll be more of them, and if the introduction didn't teach you about secret destructible walls, this part does, because you have to destroy one. And here are loads of cats trying to stop us. On hard difficulty, we take quite a lot of damage when we get hit. Oh, and here's a trap that we're going to run away from, because we don't want to get hit by any of these cats. Have at thee! And we were successful in dealing with them. Sometimes they drop ammunition, sometimes they don't. And I don't believe there's a backpack pickup in this game at all. Let's look around and see who else we can find. More cats! These cats are guarding the exit. And you saw that I destroyed that table. And there's food! We picked up some food and gained 5% health. And more food! Marvelous! We can run with shift, and here is our armor pickup. You gain strength by drinking coffee. 5% coffee power! Coffee will help us mitigate damage, which is always nice. Now let's look at the map. We can go this way if we like, and we will. For there's something here that we want. Let's destroy this, and move forward. A secret is revealed! And in here... Help! Help! Please break these chains! Here's one of our friends that's been captured alongside us! If we break those chains, they'll teleport away! And we'll get some ammo for the golden shotgun! The golden shotgun is quite awesome! We don't have it yet, but we will, and we want to get all the golden shotgun ammunition that we can! 
We also want to destroy all of these plants to get a little bit more health. Let's open this door and find no enemies, but we will find a stim pack and the way to end the level. For you don't end the level by just going into the exit. Oh no! You have to blow up the entire level. You activate that shutdown thing, and then you have 10 seconds to get out. Fortunately, once you've activated the self-destruct mechanism, you have a optimal path presented to you that you can follow. But we're not done yet, though. I'm gonna keep consulting the map as we look around and try to find more things. And unfortunately, find more cats that definitely don't want us to escape. There's a secret here. And that is a more dangerous cat. We fought the grunts. I like to call these the sergeants because they're armed with dual wielding uh, capabilities. And they have nasty guns and they hurt. But they do drop shotgun shells and shotgun shells are always nice. Why? Because we're about to get a shotgun. The shotgun takes up the number three slot in our weapons. It's not the only weapon that will take the number three slot, but it's the only one we have right now. For the time being, we're going to switch away because, oh, there's somebody there. Ha <laughs> ha, too slow for me, evil space cat. Let's go get some help, shall we? Excellent, food. Could always do with more of that. And more health, we could always do with more of that too. Anyone here? No, there's nobody here. We pretty much cleared this entire level. So let's go to the end and I'll show you the end of level mechanic. I believe the exit was this way, and this is when the exit is not this way. And I've gone completely, nope, this is where the exit is. We're gonna wait for that door to be shut, and then we'll initiate the shutdown. 10 seconds until detonation. Uh oh. 10. Let's go! Nine. Everything's shaking. Eight. There's lots of rumbling. Seven. We're in trouble. Eight. If we don't get out in time, we'll Nine. die. But fortunately, the first level's quite easy. We can't look at the explosion, we're too busy running away. Bunker catnip finished. Kills, items, and secrets 100%, and this game has no par times, and my am I happy about that, because I never managed to meet them. On to level two. Bunker cat litter. The music has changed. There's been an autosave, and speaking of saving, I should probably save myself. Right here. Always pays to make a save. Let's start exploring. We have two secrets and 26 monsters to take out. And there is a door that we need a key for, a red key. Let's move on and see if we can find that key. Ooh, an incoming transmission. Let's have a look at it. I don't trust that person. I don't trust that person at all. But maybe there is a gun in here. There is a gun in here. Is there going to be anyone else in here? Maybe. Not that I can see. But I'm going to equip the shotgun just in case. Oh look! Loads of enemies! At least we get to demo what the shotgun can do. A lot of damage is the answer. This was a sneaky trap, but at least it was telegraphed to us. Other traps aren't going to be. And did you hear that? I heard somebody asking for help. We're gonna have to find where that person is. Most of the secrets are hidden behind walls that you can destroy. Some of them are hidden behind traps that you have to set off to get access to the secret. We also can't go this way. This is a one-way door. Something else from Wolfenstein 3D. We didn't do too badly considering we have a little bit more ammunition. We have less health though. Let's switch back to the pistol for now. The pistol should be sufficient for the time being. And any enemies over here? There's some stuff. Oh, hello! Let's move over to here, where the enemies have to take us on one at a time. Ha <laughs> ha! Where are you? You're over there, and now you're gone. Brilliant. You're over here, and you can shoot me even from over there. Those shotguns you have are really accurate. We'll grab this, and we'll look around for anything that we can destroy. Like this. Marvelous. More health. Even more health. And we're destroying all of the furnishings. Anyone here? No. Over here, though. There's something. Let's ready this gun, shall we? Have at thee! 
it's pretty good for dealing with them. Right, we'll free these people. You're free now! Teleport away! Why can't we teleport away? That's a good question. Let's not think about that for too long and grab this ammunition. And also, this coffee. And get ready for more combat. You don't belong here. No, we don't belong here. You're quite right. We're trying to escape. You couldn't really stop us even if you tried. Anything here that I can get? More food? Not here. Or here. Oop, there's someone there, though. They make a sound alerting us to the fact that they know we're here, which is good. And we got some food, even better. Now, we've been on the other side of those doors, so let's ignore over there, and instead go over here. Hello. And there's you two. You don't fire very often as opposed to the... Oh, as opposed to them. They fire quite often. Hello. Now, at range, we have to shoot a few more times, and that was overkill for you. But it's still okay. You're gone as well. Brilliant. We're not doing too badly. We've taken care of most of the enemies. There are still four more foes for us to face. Where are they, though? Well, I see this that I'm going to destroy. We got the Golden Shotgun. The Golden Shotgun deals a lot more damage compared to the standard shotgun. Anyone in here? Yes! Two people! And they're gone. We now have the green key, which is good because we can always do with getting the green key. I don't know where the green door is, but we do know where the red door is. So we're going to head in that direction. That is not a door, that is just a window to the world beyond. It looks so flat. That's because it's just a single image. Either way, we must find that door. The door is over here, I believe. Through here, and here. Pressing 3 brings up the golden shotgun by default. I do wish the normal shotgun would be selected first. The red door leads to the green door, which leads to this corridor. And we still have two foes left to face. Let's be careful, shall we? Step forward with care. Stay. There they are! And there they're not. They're gone. Now, we know where the shutdown thing is. And I'm going to save because we may end up messing this up. It's a possibility. There's always the chance that you could find the shutdown thing early and then set it off immediately. Downside, of course, is you might have to fight past enemies to get to the exit. For now, let's activate this. It immediately goes off this time and we have to very quickly move. It doesn't get slower. You want to go over here and right here. Not bad. More explosions! Ha <laughs> ha! There's no rocket launcher in the game. We have to rely on all the weapons that we have, plus one more. I bet you know which gun the uh, final one is. We take a good guess at the very least. 5 minutes and 33, 11.02 total. Moving on to air vent ahead. Let's see what this is all about, shall we? Well, we've got a communication. Let's see what it's all about. Hello. I'm going to ready my fist here for no reason. Aha! Curses! I don't want to hear anything else from you. You can punch those and get rid of the communication, which is a very nice touch. We have 30 shots. We're going to get a few more. I heard that. We're going to have to find where that person is. Probably somewhere over here. Now, you see those arrows on the wall? They'll be important in a little bit. For now, we're going to look around and see if we can find where we need to go. We can't go that way. And going back will lead to nothing in particular, because that is the door we came in through, and there's nothing behind it. Over here. Well, that's not good. We've just met a new enemy type, and these enemies are the Prowlers. Think of them as like the dogs or the pinky demons from Doom. They take quite a few shots, and they hurt if you let them get close to you. Fortunately, they have no ranged capabilities whatsoever. There's somebody here. There's you, and you're gone. Brilliant. Let's keep looking around, shall we? You can hear that windy sound. That's because air vents are going to be quite important in the rest of this episode. There's lots of health here, that's always good. Anything over here? There's a door. 
Ah, that leads to the air vents. Let's go over here for now. Stop! We won't. We're not gonna stop. We're gonna keep moving around. You can ask nicely. We still won't do it. But you... Ah, we can use the pistol on you. It does take uh, a few more shots to take you out. But we took you out. Anyone else? No. Though there is some food. We were getting a little bit peckish. Ooh, that's not good. Let's deal with you. Two, three, four. Brilliant. Shooting them does knock them back, which is really important considering how fast they do move. Is that a cracked wall behind that banner? I think it is. Aha, a secret. Marvelous. More ammunition. We can do with that. We don't get much ammunition per pickup. We only get two. That is how powerful that ammunition is. There's only one more secret left to find, but there are 27 more enemies to go. Let's get that shotgun ammunition. There are barrels that do explode, and they're quite useful if you can take advantage of them, which we could. Anyone over here? No one there? What about over here? There's a door and not much else. Huh. No, I don't feel like halting. Ooh, this looks like a long corridor full of peril and doom. Let's see how much doom, shall we? Here. Yep, there's a lot of doom. We'll just shoot you with this pistol. We can stack this ammunition up to 100, I believe. The shotgun shells up to 50. Anyone here? Cautiously we move forward. This brings us over to here, so we could have gone this way to get to here. Let's move forward a bit more. Get this shotgun. You don't belong here. Oh, this is not good. Did you see that enemy prowling about over there? It's a prowler. We can take care of a prowler, though. The prowler is gone. And there's you. Okay. And you. I'm just here looking around. Don't mind me. You did not react at all when I shot your friend. That's to my benefit. We'll just shoot here. And there's somebody else there. Here. And there's you. And there is that barrel that I probably should have used to get rid of that prowler. Either way, let's move forward. You don't here. Oh, there are lots of them. There are lots of them, and we do react when we're shot at. We're not doing that well so far. But we'll get some health at some point. Hopefully. Any health around here? We're going to blow this up. I don't want that to accidentally explode while I'm dealing with all these enemies, because there are quite a few enemies in here. Oh. Like you! Yeah. And you! Drop your way. And you! We've dealt with them all now, and we know where the exit is. The exit is here. Always nice to know. We'll get rid of this just in case there was any ammunition or health or anything. I could settle for a single bullet, but no, you can only get food. There could be food in here, though. No luck? Aha! Luck! And more luck. I don't know if it's predetermined or if it's just a random chance. I imagine it's probably a random chance. We'll go back through here. And go back the way we came. And smash this, of course. Why wouldn't we? There's more things for us to smash. Destroy everything! After all, it's all going to get exploded in the end either way. Might as well get what we can. Right. Now we have the wind mechanic with these air vents. We're going to save, we're going to ready for terribleness, and move forward. We can only slow our movement by holding the button in the opposite direction. There are enemies here, and they're also going to be affected by the wind. We're going to go this way, which is where we want to go. And we'll just smash those, open this. Ooh, lots of coffee. Brilliant. Anything else that I could get? There's another set of vents, which isn't that great. Maybe I want to... Nope, we have to actually go this way. Now, I think if we do this, we can get over to here, which is where we want to be, and have a look in this direction. Ooh, loads of enemies. Hello, how are you? We could use a different gun to deal with them, because we do have a different gun, and getting it is a good idea. It's the chain gun, everyone! Hello, how are you? Would you like to say hello to my chain gun? Ha <laughs> ha! The chain gun is awesomely powerful. Awesomely powerful indeed. There's also some food here. 
And if we destroy that, and this, we can get over to here. And destroy this, which brings us over to here with you. Hello, you. You're trying to get me. You cannot get me. You're the person that got uh, moved away by the wind. Now, we can destroy these, get a little bit more health, which is always nice. And then go scrounging for more health. Was there some health over by the entrance? I get the feeling there might have been. Over here? Behind here? Yes, more health here. Excellent. All we need to do now is find the way to shut down the system and blow everything up. And I believe we've already found that. We need to go over to that uh, air vent. Or we could just go this way. Through the hole that we've made. It's a useful hole. It's going to help us quite a bit. And this will just uh, give us a little bit more health as we look around for that there. There's a door here that we didn't open. It doesn't really do very much. So let's get out of here. We have to move fast. Fortunately, we have this shortcut that brings us over to here and over to here. And now we are out. Level complete! Explosions! Ha <laughs> ha! And when we come back, folks, we'll go to the next level. We have cleared air vent ahead. 100%, 100%, 100%. Will this last? Probably not. But hopefully it will last a little longer. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. Flying saucer holes? Uh-oh.